Welcome to our MultiChacks setup video. To use MultiChacks through Intuit App Center, you must first visit appcenter.intuit.com slash MultiChacks and click on Try Now. If you already have an account for Intuit, go ahead and sign in. Otherwise, create a new account by entering your email address, your name, and a security passcode. The next section is optional. You can skip the setup for Sync Manager, as MultiChacks does not use this function. To skip ahead, click on Enter Company Data yourself, and then select Take a Test Drive with Sample Data and hit Continue. You will then be taken to the App Center page for MultiChacks. In this page, you can configure your subscription, download the app, and order supplies. Go ahead and click Download Now to begin downloading MultiChacks. Once you've finished the download, select the file and double-click to run. Read the license agreement and select I accept the terms of the agreement and click on Next to continue. After the software completes the install, MC Setup will launch automatically and ask you to log in to your Intuit App Center account. Go ahead and sign in to continue. Click on Authorize and return to MultiChacks. This is MC Setup. It's part of MultiChecks that allows you to configure your check layouts and edit your bank accounts. Let's set up your check account. Click on Select the control and edit this control. For now, we'll leave your bank setting to manual. We'll explain the differences at a later video. Select a check placement for your form, top, middle, or bottom check style. Then choose the number of stubs you want, either one, or two. Select Print Stubs in 17 CPI and click OK and Save. Now we're going to add a bank account. Go ahead and select the Starter Bank Account and it will display the Bank Edit screen. Complete the forms and type in your bank and account information. When you're ready to enter your routing numbers, follow the key that's displayed on the screen. The AND ampersand sign is for the routing number key, followed by your routing code and your routing number key again. Then enter your bank account number. If there are dashes in your account number, go ahead and enter them by using the dash key. And finally, close the MICR line by using the slash forward slash key.
Click OK to save the bank information. This concludes the initial setup video for MultiChacks. Please be sure to watch our other video tutorials. Thank you.